Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to do exercise 3.1 and question numbers 2, 3, 4 from the chapter Factors and Multiples. And this is from Math Express textbook. If anyone is watching my channel for the first time, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. And please click links given in the description box for divisibility rules video, factors and multiples video and for remaining questions from this exercise video. Now let us move to the question. Here the question is check whether 12,925 is divisible by 5 or not using the divisibility test. Give reasons to support your answer. Okay, first you take the number 12,925. And we have to check whether this number is divisible by 5 or not. Just you recollect what is the divisibility rule for 5. In the units place, 0 or 5 should be there. Okay, here check what is there in units place. So here 5 is there. So this number is divisible by 5. You write the same. In the units place, in the units place, 5 is there. So, 12,925 is divisible by 5. Okay, let us go to the third one. Check 1848 is divisible by 4 and 11 using the divisibility test. So, we have to check here whether this number is divisible by 4 as well as 11. First, you take the number 1848 and recollect the divisibility rule for 4. What is the divisibility rule? The last two digits should be divisible by 4. So here 48 is divisible by 4. So, so 1848 is divisible by 4. Okay. Let us take once again 1848. Now we have to check for 11. What is the divisibility rule for 11? The difference of sums of alternative numbers should be either 0 or 11. Okay, take the alternative numbers. 8, here 8, 8. The sum of alternative numbers. So we have to add this. And another alternative. 4, 1. 4 plus 1. We have to take the difference. 8 plus 8 is 16. Minus 4 plus 1 is 5. 16 minus 5 is 11. So, the, this result should be either 0 or 11. But we, here we got 11. So, 1848 is divisible by 11. Okay. Let us go to the fourth question. State true or false. A number divisible by 12 must be divisible by 3 and 4. This statement is correct. Why? Because here 3 and 4 are multi sorry, 3 and 4 are factors of 12. So a number divisible by 12 is automatically divisible by 3 and as well as 4. Write the same reason here. 3 and 4 are factors of 12. The reason is that. Let us go to the another one. A number divisible by 9 also divisible by 18. This statement is wrong. So we have to write no here. This is false. Why? Because we will see with the example. Take the number 27. Okay. 27 divided by 9. That is equal to 3. So 27 is divisible by 9. Okay. You take the same number. 27 divisible by 18 or not. We have to check. 18. 27. 118 is or 18. It leaves the remainder. So 27 is not at all divisible by 18. So the reason behind this is when a number is divisible by another number, it can't be divisible by its multiple. Okay. That is the reason behind this. Let us go to the third one. A number divisible by 4 is always even. Yes, true. Observe 4, 8, 12, 16. These are all even numbers. And these are divisible by 4. So a number must be an even number when it should be divisible by 4. Okay, let us go to the last one. A number divisible by 30 is also divisible by 2, 3, 5. Yes, this is true. Why? Because 2, 3, 5 
or factors of 30. So, a number divisible by 30 is also divisible by 2, 3 and 5. Okay. I hope this video is very helpful for you. If it is helpful for you, please give a like. Thank you.